So welcome back. So this is going to be my full technical analysis of the commodities markets and the precious metals market. And as you can see, the, the US dollar index has uh, rallied quite significantly. So this may have a major effect on uh, oil. This may have major effect on gold, for example, because when this uh, rallies, then it has a negative effect basically on those commodities and precious metals. So there's a negative correlation between those two. But uh, if you look at the technical years, they are looking very bullish at this point, uh, both the CCI and the stochastic and the RSI, uh, but the MACD has not crossed the signal line. So we will rally most likely up towards the 50 moving average. If we um, cross that, then we'll have a resistance here at 93 then 94 and then 94.7 and then that is as much as far as probably we will go a break below here will open the door to these lows which is at 92.1 but that is a major support area and we have already been there and usually this market tests it once and then rallies the other side so what we may see if we rally to, to the upside is that we'll have lower uh, prices of gold, we'll have lower oil prices, and other commodities will also be affected uh, by this. So if you look at gold, no, not gold, but oil, I mean, we can see that we have been rallying the last three days, uh, mainly due to vaccine news and also due to a very horrible IBA number yesterday about basically decline in in the amount of gold in the storage i mean oil in the storage but this candlestick here is very 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 negative we ran into major resistance here at this area these were the previous highs in august and september and we did not even try to get cl to go clear of uh, uh, 43.22 we basically fell like a rock from here. And that is an indication that we most likely will go significantly lower in this market. This is basically uh, sellers coming in and pressuring this price down. So whether or not we see uh, a test of the 50 moving average tomorrow, that is to be seen, but we can see the market hasn't closed yet and still we're pressuring this price even further uh, or lower, lower. The only problem I have at this moment with the daily chart is that the technical indicators here are still fairly bullish. We have the MACD, C Stochastic, and the CCI all are very bullish at this point. It is only the RSI, which is at 60, not over bought, not over sold, that is technically flat. But as soon as the CCI turns around, something similar to this, then we are going to have this market going really fast to the downside. Uh, so this was a ridiculous rally, to be fairly honest. There's no reason for oil to rally like this because nothing has really changed in the world economy. There's not, uh, there's not the demand here for this price level. So if you look at the hourly chart, the four-hour chart, this is very encouraging. So we reached the top here. We are on our way back down. We will run into resistant there was support here at the 41.47 and after that we are heading towards the 200 moving average at 39.46 um, so this is an encouraging sign uh, for entering this market with a sell we can see also these technical indicators are looking very uh, very bearish at this point so this rally is most likely over and it is technically possible to enter a short position here with a, with a stop loss right above here because this was major resistant. So that is possible. Um, yes. So we would go and look at natural gas. So we can see that we can look at the daily chart first. We have started to uh, rally again, and uh, it is looking really nice for natural gas. I left this market because it started to look like a retest of the lows. But this, since I basically sold my uh, my 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 share of um, 
natural gas, I this market has rallied, but that happens. So at this point, it is looking very, very encouraging. Uh, what we probably anticipate to see is something similar to this, this move here to the upside. Uh, we could go a little bit sideways, but this trend line is working. It is, uh, is holding, and even though it breaks, then we have the 50 moving average right underneath. The technical indicators for this are very bullish at this point, um, apart from the MACD. But as soon as the MACD basically turns around, then we are going very fast to the upside. We may find resistance here at that area uh, around 3.124. Uh, and after that, it is just to the upside to the 3.3. It is possible to enter here with a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average uh, or around here at the 50 moving average. That is possible for to buy into this market now, especially when you can see that we are turning around significantly. If you look at the four hour chart, we can see that uh, technical indicators are all of them very fairly bullish at this point. We may find some uh, resistance here around the 50 moving average at the four hour chart, which is at zero, uh, 3.067. But if that clears, then we are heading towards the next resistant area and so on. So the four hour chart explains a lot better where we basically can find these different pockets of, of resistance and support and so on. Uh, and you can see how often we basically tested this trend line and it did not break. At this moment, the new support is basically the 200 moving average at the four hour chart. So just keep that in mind. We are actually rallying up towards the 50 moving average as we are speaking. So I'm speaking. So we can look at copper. So we are still trading within this range. The highs here of 3.2 and the lows here at right underneath the 50 moving average. So we're in this range and we're right in the middle. This is not a market I would actually enter at any circumstance at this moment. A lot of things have to change before I would basically consider uh, trading this, uh, um, this commodity. First of all, it is possible to trade within this range. For example, these are the highs, these are the lows. So selling here, buying here, and then just doing that as often as possible until we basically break out of this, uh, this um, area. Other than that, a break below this, uh, this support line would open the door to these lows, and that would be much more interesting. I do not favor the upside because we are in an econo economic downtrend, and there's no reason to expect us to, to rally at any point. So, therefore, I'm staying away from this as far as I can. So, if we look at gold... We can see that we have broken down significantly, but as well, this is a market that I'm just waiting for us to get down to the 1800 level. There's no reason to enter this market uh, either with a sell or a buy until we basically get to this level. And when we get this level, I'll be all in, basically buying as much as possible with a stop loss right underneath the 200 moving average. Um, because this is a market that is going to go both to 2000, 2100, and 2000, and probably 300 in the long run due to the expansionary monetary policy from central banks that is going to happen uh, uh, within the coming months. Uh, so that is going to be very bullish for gold, but still we're too far away from this um, area where it's basically uh, our entry point to this market. So you look at silver, this is very similar uh, to gold, but we're even further away from the area that we want to enter uh, than we are with gold, for example. So we need to get towards the $20 range in order to enter to this market. To enter here is just pure gambling. It can go to the upside, it can go to the downside, and um, at this point, it just makes no sense of basically enter this market. You can see these are the highs and these are the most likely very lows in this market. And we're basically in the middle of everything. 
we may see rallies above the 50 moving average. They have all failed. It is not until we get to this area here that we see enormous amount of tra traders coming in and basically buying this to oblivion. So that is something that you just have to wait for. So if you look at Kakoa, now this is a possible trade. Uh, it is possible because we are we have the highs here, we have the lows down here at 2.0, and at the moment we are basically right in the middle. As I said yesterday, it looks like we are we're going to rally towards the 200 or the 50 moving average and then give back. We basically done that at this point. So what we're targeting now is basically these lows at 2.236 and if that breaks we go to the very lows so it is possible to basically short it here and target this area uh, and even better short it here and target this area and then when we get here it is in and, and you pull back that is basically um, buy that you can hold all the way to the very top because it looks like we are trading within this range here and then going up and technically just going sideways this entire market is merely sideways. This is just an outlier uh, from this. Market's completely um, overbought at this point, and then we completely collapse. But at this moment, we are just trading sideways. So if you look at Platinum, I was considering whether or not we should take this uh, part of the analysis because it's just a hopeless market to, to, uh, to, to trade. We are trading within the highs here and the lows and there is nothing really else about to say the, about this market to enter here is completely pure gambling so just stay away from this market as far as you can i'll uh, i'll probably not add platinum into the full technical analysis because it's just a waste of time uh, if something really happens here i'll i'll add add it to the to the video again but so the next two markets here which is sugar and wheat are far more interesting so you can see that these technical indicators for sugar have all turned around we are going lower and those lows are most likely the 50 moving average right here so we'll see something similar to this going down and then going up again and down and then going up again we are in uptrend and it's not expected uh, expected that we are going to break the 50 moving average or have a trend reversal of any sorts and so on so this is a market that uh, we are we should look forward to basically to uh, to buying into if we break below the 50 moving average which we did right here then we have this uh, long-term trend line that is going to be tested and this is basically a better entry point than the 50 moving average. So we have to wait if the 50 moving average shows signs of being significant support and rally from there, then that is a buying entry. If it basically breaks below the 50 moving average, then we are going to target this trend line. And until then, it is impossible to basically, this is pure gambling entering this market at this point. So if you look at wheat, Wheat has fallen quite significantly. We are trading now right at the edge of this trend line here. So if this holds, we can rally from here, and that is a sign of that we can that is a is a is a buying opportunity. However, I think it's too early to enter at this point. These technical indicators have to turn around before this market can go higher. Even if you look at the four hour chart, I don't think it's it's even worse. We can see that they are significantly uh, worse here. And at this point, we are testing, going to test the 200 moving average. Uh, and we have broken through this trend line a little bit, but it depends on how you ride it. But the 50, 200 moving average, if we bounce from there, that could be a signal. But these indicators are showing that we are going to go lower in the four hour chart. So wait until we find um, support, wait until it basically turns around, especially the CCI and the RSI and the stochastic, and that is the sign where you basically should enter this market. We should have a stop, a stop loss right underneath the 50 moving average and a target around the highest here was 630. 
six. So hope you found it helpful. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.